hi guys uh, i often get this question from my students as to what is explanatory theory and when do you use this theory how do you test this theory when is this theory useful in research so welcome to research with dr sam your online thesis guide and advisor and in today's video i will explain simply what is explanatory theory and how do you use it all right so i will give you a couple of examples which will hopefully make it easy for you to understand so firstly you should know that explanatory theory it specifies the relationships between dimensions or characteristics of individuals groups situations or events i will give you an example later on just remember this definition because this theory explains why and the extent to which one phenomena is related to another phenomena all right so this is this theory comes in only once you your descriptive theories have been generated and tested so you have already defined the parameters you have defined the terms and all now you are trying to explain the relationships between the characteristics and the phenomena all right so this basically explains why the phenomena exist why a certain phenomena that you are trying to investigate exist for example let's take an example here that you are trying to explain that the student what students think of their perceptions of multiple choice questioning in assessment and how is it related to their scores in the assessment task so what the students think of multiple choice question what is their perception do they like it do they not like it and how is that perception related to their scores in task so therefore this type of explanatory theory is not only generated but it is also tested by something called correlational research so we are here we are trying to establish the correlation between the students perceptions of multiple choice questioning and their scores in the assessment task so the correlation research requires measurement of the dimensions or characteristics of phenomena in their natural state so the perceptions of the multiple choice questioning what do you mean by perceptions how do you measure perceptions that is going to be one scale and the other scale is going to be the scores the assessment task scores so therefore i said that the explanatory theory it explains the relationships between dimensions of a event or a situation so dimensions of event becomes the scale on which you are measuring the student perceptions so here data is usually gathered by non participant observation or self report instruments so you can give the students a questionnaire with a scale and they will fill it they will fill their perception in this example of course this is an example so you can give them a self report instrument you can give them a questionnaire that they can fill they can also used rating scales questionnaires checklist observation checklist open ended questionnaires and even interviews so instruments include fixed choice observation checklist rating scales standardized questionnaires all right and the use of fixed choice instrument is possible because the dimensions or characteristics of the phenomena are thought to be known so you have already defined you will already beforehand define what do you mean by perceptions of multiple choice questions so once you have already defined them that is where your descriptive theory is generated then you use the description in the questionnaire and you use that questionnaire with a scale a rating scale and you give it to the students and the students will mark there i am just talking about this example here so instruments used for correlational research they what do they generate they they can generate either qualitative data or they can generate quantitative data it doesn't matter it is up to you as a researcher what kind of data you want to generate it could be qualitative or quantitative when quantitative explanations are desired and qualitative data have been collected you can attach numbers to it to the raw data so that you can carry out some kind of a statistical analysis so you can have data like you know you can have agree strongly agree disagree neutral strongly or disagree and you can have 1 2 3 4 5 assigned to the scale and then depending on what students have chosen you get a numerical data you get numbers assigned to the raw data which you can then fill to any other in your excel spreadsheet or you can fill in an spss software where you can do some statistical analysis and find out the correlation all right so for, uh, you can uh, yield themes you can yield categories you know so initially you may have uh, described perception uh, in a particular scale you may have uh, an, an given it categories all right so what they think of task what they think of the process 
uh, of uh, the assessment uh, multiple choice and then those categories may be changed after you generate this qualitative and quantitative data you may get new categories as well so statistical analysis employs uh, various non parametric or parametric measures of association and you can use something like a pearson product moment of coefficient of correlation you know then you can use multiple regression so i will not go into that now this is purely to understand what is explanatory theory so another explanatory theory example i can give you here is a researcher tried to explain the relationship between six of the conditioning factors and dependent care age performance dependent care agent performance so how did he define the six conditioning factors he defined them through maternal and child age child gender number of children marital status child status child status means uh, whether the child was adopted biological step child or birth order then you can use ethnic group socio economic status maternal employment status child health problems but the the dependent variable was only one and that was defined by health promotion and self care activities performed by adults for children so the dependent care agent performance was only defined by one parameter so basically you associate you get the questionnaire you get all this data from the conditioning factors and then you can correlate it to the dependent variable here and explain the relationship between the two so that is where your explanatory theory comes in play all right so your explanatory theory will be able to define or explain the relationship not define but explain the relationship between the two there could be a relationship there could not be a relationship that will come out of the data but why a phenomena exist that is the focus of explanatory theory all right so for that you should clearly already define the parameters and you are just trying to explain the correlation between the two so i hope you understood what is explanatory theory and how you can test it how you can generate it in my future videos i'll take up other theories as well and then you can decide which theory fits in well in your research thank you for watching this video guys and i look forward to your feedback and comments